second. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tara. That's a text message from my mom. Today I am testing a beauty hack that I have seen on the internet because I search all the time how to grow my hair longer. As you can see, my hair isn't very long. So I'm constantly looking for ways to grow it longer and in the quickest way possible. So I found out this thing called the inversion method. I did a lot of research. Apparently for seven days in a month, you flip your head upside down and you massage it for around four minutes and that's going to grow your hair around an inch in a week. So of course, I'm very curious. I really hope this works. It would be really awesome if it did. I think the theory behind it is that when you have your head upside down, all the blood rushes to the top of your head where your hair is and it like shocks your system into thinking it needs to grow. At least this is what I've read on the internet. And obviously you can believe everything the internet says. Leave me a comment down below right now and let me know if you think it's gonna work. We're gonna test it together. I really, I don't know if it's gonna work. I feel like it'd be kind of crazy, but I do have high hopes for it. And I think that there is a possibility. If you're new to my channel, if you've never seen before make sure to subscribe down below click that button become a part of the family and if you want to see more videos like this where I you know test things out over the course of a week give me a thumbs up because this is gonna be really fun and I'm excited to share the results but yeah this is my current hair I guess we'll measure it that'd probably be good let me get a measuring tape hold on all right I don't really know about how okay all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this at the bottom of my earlobe as a little marking we're just gonna grab the hair right here pull it pull this this is very hard to do without looking okay almost 23 inches i don't really know how well you can see that but it's 20 almost 23 centimeters i think 22 and a half right here i've seen a lot of different options where you can use oil when you do it or not use oil so i'm gonna try not using oil just because that's obviously the easier way to do it i'm just gonna do it dry and See what Day one of this little experiment, my hair is already greasy, so I've decided I'm actually going to try and use the oil today because I'm gonna have to shower anyways. Whenever I do a hair mask, I use two different oils mixed together. So I guess I'll do that for this experiment. I use Jamaican black castor oil with some coconut oil mixed in there. So I think you just apply it dry to the hair and then massage it in. I don't really know, but I'm gonna make my little mixture. Not really sure how much to make of this, so I'm just gonna scoop the, oh, it's like, Ooh. How did this happen? Can you like see? Oh. I just spilled oil everywhere. It's going well. But really, how did that happen? It just made a hole and then warmed it all up in there. Making a mess already. So it's probably gonna be a lot of oil, but you know, whatever. Mix them together. Mixture is made. I'm gonna put this in the microwave and warm it up and then apply it to my hair. This is probably gonna be the only time I do this for the entire week because it's kind of a process. I'm actually gonna change out of this because I don't want this to get oil on it. Uh, that's a lot of oil. This feels nice. This is gonna take me so long to wash out. I don't think I've ever looked this cute on a YouTube video before. All right, there's definitely enough oil up in here. Now I'm gonna do the inversion method. I'm gonna flip my head and massage. Four minutes. Start. Day one, honestly, probably the most entertaining of the week just because I actually had a process and I was kind of excited to start it. It was the only day where I actually did the oil treatments. It was actually kind of nice because the hot oils felt really good on my head when I was massaging it, but overall, felt like a long freaking four minutes. Day two was following the method that I was planning on doing for the whole week, which was just kind of flipping my head over my bed at the end of the day. I am about to get into bed, take off my makeup, get into pajamas, get real comfy and cozy, and I'm going to test this thing out. So here goes. That felt so freaking long. You might not think four minutes is a long time because it's, it's not really, but when you're just sitting there massaging your head, it is a long time. And it doesn't feel as good as like when you go to the hair salon and they're massaging your head in the sink and it feels so amazing. It's not like that when you do it yourself. For some reason, it just feels completely different. Like not even at all the same level of enjoyment. Just boring and I don't know, nothing to do there. So you just kind of sit and wait for the timer to go off. Day three, I decided to experiment and try something different. I needed to be entertained somehow, so I just kind of flipped my head over the couch while I was watching something on Netflix. So instead of just like kind of sitting there in silence, I got to listen to my show while waiting for the timer to go off. Definitely was a better option to do it this way. Did the same thing for day four, just kind of watch TV because it was like the best option I found. It is day five of this experiment. I'm going to make myself some lunch now, so I have a frozen meal that I I'm going to make. So since 
the frozen meal takes like five minutes to be done. I'm just going to do my inversion method while my food is in the microwave because I feel like, I don't know, why would I not? If I have to wait for my food, I may as well do something productive and then I don't have to do it later. You know, works out. I was pretty over <laughs> this, honestly. Yes, it's only four minutes, but it just kind of is annoying. I don't I don't know how else to explain it. So while I had the frozen meal in there, I just flipped my head over so I could get like two things done at once. And right when I finished with my hair, I had food to eat, which was great. I think I was wearing this shirt, actually. <laughs> this was actually a really good method as well because I didn't feel like I was just sitting around waiting for a timer to go off. And though I technically was waiting for the timer on my microwave to go off so I could eat lunch, it just was better. For the remainder of the week, I just flipped my head over my bed before going to sleep and I did it like that. One week later, we are back to see how the inversion method worked. It has been exactly a week. I have done this for a week now. For starters, I definitely think that it did help a little bit just from the looks of it. Like when I, I look at myself, I'm like, it definitely must have grown. Like it, I, I just think it did, you know? Maybe that's in my head. I don't really know, but we're gonna find out from the measuring tape. I don't know, what do you guys think? Before we get into the actual results, um, let me know what you think of how it looks. Does it look longer? Does it look the same? I don't really know. It is a little bit wavy now. It's not straightened like it was in the beginning, but I don't really think that matters. Curled it would just make it look shorter anyways. So considering that it still looks pretty long, well not long, but like longer, I think that's a good sign. I don't know. I, I really hope it worked, but I guess let's just see. Why are we waiting around? Measuring tape. We're going to have it right where my earlobe is. Grab the hair. This is really difficult to do. Okay. Ooh, okay. It appears to be at 25 centimeters. Right at 25. You can see the ends there. So that's kind of fun. Did it grow an inch? I guess not. But it grew like a couple of, maybe is that an inch? Wait a second. Wait, that's that's an inch. It, that, wait, that's almost an inch in a week. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna do this every single month now. And then just wait and see in a few months, my hair is gonna be like over here and I'm gonna be feeling pretty good about it. I'll take that. That's like almost an inch in a week. Genuinely cannot believe that actually worked, but I am genuinely impressed. Let me know in the comments if you think my hair looks longer than when this video started. You can always, you can do a little comparison right here. I should have taken a legit before and after clip, but you know, I didn't think that through. I apologize. I am pleasantly surprised. I will continue to do this. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna do this yourself and try it out. But yeah, that was today's video, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's totally different than what I usually do, but I had so much fun with it. So if you have any suggestions of similar things like this that you'd wanna see me try, I would love to. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!